Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kelly Simek. Good morning, everybody. We have a beautiful day ahead of us. Once again, a lot of sunshine and cool temperatures. Now, that cold front that we were tracking for over a week last week, that passed through the state. We saw it pass through the state on Friday through Saturday, and it's cleared us. Now, a stationary front far to the west of the state and not impacting us. What is going to be impacting us, though, is behind this cold front. We have cooler, dry air filling in with these nice east northeasterly winds that have been coming through. And that's all thanks to the new high pressure system that's filled in behind that cold front. So we have actually nice breezy trades forecast through the rest of today. But actually, wind's going to become light and variable starting tomorrow night and Wednesday when it looks like mostly dry conditions expected. But we have a low pressure system. It looks like that's going to be passing well to the north of us. That's going to be weakening the pressure gradient. So it does look like, unfortunately, we're going to be losing our trades. So enjoy them while we have them. But again, regardless, even when we do, it looks like we'll still be seeing mostly dry conditions. Now, in terms of the extra cloud cover and the rainfall right now, we actually have fairly dry conditions. Offshore low level clouds, though, that you can see being brought on shore by the trade winds. And in terms of rainfall, there is some offshore moisture that's moving along with those. Not really seeing anything heavy or widespread, but a little bit widespread right there for Molokai, at least for what we're seeing offshore. But expect an uptick in windward showers, especially true for the morning. But overall, it looks like the bulk of the rainfall will be confined to the windward sections, partly to mostly sunny skies expected leeward. Now, our strong trade winds, again, they're here today. They start to ease off tomorrow, potentially even into Wednesday, starting to build back Wednesday into Thursday. We have sunshine through these next couple of days, but then high clouds actually going to start streaming over the state tomorrow. They could become thick towards the ending of the week and then potentially another bout of wet weather. I'll have more on that coming up, but now I'll send it back over to Chris Lechonic, who has a look at your traffic.